This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Old School Barbecue. Welcome to another edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Jason, we done got you out of Vols Pass and all the passes around you. You've been running. Uh, Jason got as many fishing reports as I got, turkey report. So you was busy. He got some video we we holding yet, then we're going to see. But uh, this week, we got the hottest thing going right now is Chaz. Chaz and all my captains and stuff down in, in Slidell and, and Lake Pontchartrain, Hopedale. Uh, the reports are keep coming in. Look, and they're coming in from Fouchon. They're coming in from Venice, Toledo Bend. Uh, but the best freshwater reports are, you ever heard of Jack Millis? I've heard about it. Yeah, well, we're going to tell you about it. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana with Gary Rosponi and Jason Lemoyne, the evolved boy. We'll be right back. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. There's no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they're all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now. And he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? So Jason, we going we we got a rodeo and tournament report. I'm gonna let you start right now. You got a, a good report. 
the Boomer Shoots, and Mr. Gene Andre, two legendary people that fish False River all over, Point Compete Parish. They fish tournaments all over mm -hmm. on the west side. Uh, they were legendary and still do it. And uh, this tournament's in their honor. A lot of my personal friends and them are fishing. I didn't hear from it, but you got all the reports. Tell us about Boomer Shoots. Yes, that was good for Mr. Uh, Troy Kempanera from Memberville Parish. It's the seventh annual Boomer Shoots uh, and Gene Andre Memorial uh, Team Bass Tournament. Uh, I just talked to Mr. Troy earlier, and that was a, a five fish stringer. The big weight was uh, 12 pounds, three it's ounces. Good this time of year. That's a good. That's a good stri uh, five stringer trip. Uh, the results: the uh, first place was Chris BZ and Steve Leach with 12.3. Second place was Yancey Rails and Brad Terrier with 11.55. And third place was Creed Davi and Coley Latino with 11.15 pounds. Yeah. The big bass was caught by Brother Pusho and his son Tanner with 4.35 pounds. Let, let me mention a little bit about these tournaments too and these people that are putting them on. They do a lot with the West Side Bass Masters and they're doing it all the time. A lot of time, most of my reports I know come from Steve Fontana, and um, he's fishing them, and he got all the reports. These were people that fished Falls River a lot, a lot of tournaments that would be at Falls River, Kiwanis, as y'all know. These tournaments are coming up right now. They're gonna be coming up every, every other week. And I'm gonna give you just the real winners. Jason is starting to find out a lot about it, because a lot of these people he raised with. You hear all them Italian names, huh? Tempanera, <laughs> uh, some people can't Latino. pronounce it, but he wanted to know if Latina was, was Spanish. I said, no, it's Italian. And Mr. Tony Latina, he's a legendary bass fisherman, he fished all the way up to, in his 90s, he was fishing in tournaments. So, uh, yeah, I must, that's enough, I guess, talking about them, but uh, them, them tournaments and, and Gene Andre, they never failed. His wife was in charge of Point Capri Tourism. They took that, they do, they're always there when they volunteer to St. Jude's. Uh, St. Jude's when they have the barbecues or the cook-offs in Irvingville. These people are so involved in it. So now that it's an honorary tournament, I'm so glad Jason's involved. Uh, when things, when it slows down, when we, we get a calendar, Jason, you and I talk about going on some trips with some of our old friends, and uh, I promise y'all, man, Jason gonna be on trips. He gonna be shooting, I'm gonna be shooting. We got some things coming up right now. We, we got a lot of family stuff, a lot of holidays out of the way. Uh, unless LSU baseball get in the World Series, I'm probably gonna have you right there with me a lot of times, so. Uh, let's, let's go to uh, another uh, a fishing report. You go ahead and give me your fishing report because you got a pretty so good I, uh, By some... the way, I, when I get to my fishing report, you see what I told y'all about Pat Bay and Bay Natchez? You know, a lot, a lot of we talking about Jack Miller's. There's a lot of paper called Bulltail, and I told y'all that fish were on this side, not in the spillway, you know, the Grand River Flats. So that, that's a lot of reports. But go ahead. I'm sorry, Jason. That's okay. Uh, I had a friend of mine, uh, Jeremy Barlow from Vols Parish, that made a trip to Hackberry on a gar fishing trip. Uh, two boats, 11 guys, they caught 22 gar fish, a uh, couple over 100 pounds. The average weight was 50 to 70 pounds. Real good. They used uh, shad. They couldn't find any finger mullets, so they, you know, bait's the hardest thing to come by. You bet off with, with mullet. When you can't find mullet, you know, they use, they use shad and a few other, Jason, you know. Jason, I did a lot mates. of golf fish, shooting with bow and arrows. I did it at night with light, fishing buffalo. And fresh water, I've done it. I mean, shooting buffalo. And then when you go down in the marsh, when you, you get on the boat trips, you catch the redfish, you know, you, you shoot them, you can see them, make sure they're in it. 
It's controversial there always. Everything we do is controversial. But my best alligator trip, we're gonna have to go to the library, is with you and him and go to Meta. You and your family and your boys. Y'all were doing it both with the and the board out. Yeah. But y'all were time. putting them out them ducks and we caught some beautiful. And and what I like about anybody that got golf fish. You know anything about bullet Cajun people. Golf fish, shoe pick, all them historic, prehistoric fish, I call them. They, they make the best bullet. They you do. cook them in a gravy. You, you have to know cook how to them prepare. Just like a patty, a crab cake. Jason, he did it all. And uh, I liked it. They were, they were good to sell. They had a commercial license. And, and we went. Just north there, uh, north of Ennis, and that uh, that boy in that store right there, Highway 15. See, I'm, I got a pretty good memory. Oh, yeah, we were in the Mississippi yeah, River. We we were, we we left. It was, I don't know. We left there at daylight. We spent the night out. We got, and when we drove straight up there, Highway 15, a store on the corner there, for going to your house in Marksville. The Lucky 13. Yeah, right on the and, highway and 15 and them, highway one. And sold them alligator guard. That guy, people were waiting on. Him. So, Jason, uh, you got any other fish reports? I, I know you got. Uh, I talked to Mr. Bryce Knight uh, at Lake Darbone, and when he told me the fish on Darbone Lake boat, the bass ain't crappie or shallow. He stressed very shallow. Uh, most of the crappies caught on live shiners and jigs. The bass are in the grass and the stumps and on uh, any type of structure. So pretty much the bass fishing is everywhere. Uh, but the crapper are getting into the shallow water yeah, right now. He had a picture of a gentleman caught his, his first, the boy caught his first bass, big Melmite bass, you know. Yep. Anytime you got those pictures, don't forget, Gary at ParadiseLouisiana.com, make sure the sun's in their face, you know, like that. and then. Gary, one more time, Gary, lowercase. Gary at Paradise, Louisiana, spelled out, dot com. Uh, Jason, uh, let, let me give you a few news reports real quick before I get to my fishing report. Uh, I, I want to remind some of the things that are coming up right now that's real important. Uh, right now, the master plans are coming out. Coastal master plan, and this is a master plan they're talking about already for 2029. Uh, you know, it goes in five-year segments, and I don't know as much as I should know, but I've been following it for the last few years with me and everything's going out. These are community centers you might want to put on your calendar or places that the master plan is going to be discussed, and it pros or cons, you make sure you want to go out there. now. Uh, the first one I need is coming up is Thursday, April 11th, Abbeville High School. All right? And then uh, Tuesday, April 16th, in Bell Chase. N now, and then Wednesday, April 17th, at Edward Dufresne in Luling, Louisiana. Edward Dufresne's uh, Community Center. Tuesday, April 23rd, Grand Lake. Elementary, and that's Grand, Grand Lake, Louisiana. And uh, Tuesday, April 30th, uh, I, I can't read my own writing. There's a Jewelry Activity Center, this, and that's in uh, Tipito, Louisiana. And then May 7th is Dockville or Dockville, and that's in Violent, Louisiana, and that's May 7th. So that's going out. It might surprise you to say, why is this master plan for 29? It's probably when it's going to be approved for that, but it's going to run it. They go in five year segments. And very important. You know how much controversy and how many different ideas. And a lot of people got good ideas. We always think some of them are self serving, but uh, you need it. You want to participate, you want to speak your piece. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. You snooze, you lose. That's what you said. Uh, 
We got some we got some DU banquets and a lot of stuff. A DU golf tournament's coming up. And May t you see this is uh they got they got a tournament in a B. This is DU. This is over there, Carter Plantation is coming up and then the DU Bingo Tiger Banquet and everything is April twenty fifth. And that'll be at the A and M Parker Center. The Italian American Rodeo. That's coming up May 17th and 18th. And let me tell you that that is, I can't tell how many years. I, I, I didn't write it down. I didn't see it. I know we, since I've been doing the show, we're getting a report. I've been there, probably about 10 of them, dying in our boat. The American Italian, the food, the kids, fishing, all the money goes to Children's Hospital in there. Uh, now, Let's go back to fishing. You got any other thing else or you want to hear my fishing report? I want to hear your fishing oh, well, I'm about so fish. I'm about to fish. We got to escape turkeys. out of here. I see that one of our fella TV show hosts sitting up there. Chris Powers. He, he got about four TV shows on Pelican and other stations, Cox 4. But I see him sitting over there. He's very good. He also does a lot with Southern. He's a, he part of the Jag Nation, just like I am. So uh, I heard this year we're going to be feeding the recruits. So I hope he can, I can get Chris to brag on, brag on Paradise, Louisiana, and what we do. But so listen to this now. This, this is very important. Best freshwater report going. Best freshwater report. Bay Natchez. Pats Bay. You heard the bass tournament came from Jack Miller's. There's bull tail, there's different lakes, there's all back Sullivan Lake. I knew they were about getting ready when somebody told me they were catching fish in the Grand River Flats too. So that's it. False River. A lot of people catching fish. Taylor Bernard, I showed his picture. He sent me another one. He had another good trip. He's fishing. Under a cork, about six feet, sometimes three foot when he gets around the piers. You got to be on the shady side of the piers, he told me. So he sent me another picture. I hope I can show it. But uh, his fish report is, when he gives a fish report, he gives you a good one. He by like Chad. He going to tell you what, how, and when. Shady sides of the piers, okay? They move up shallow sometimes, but right now on shady sides of the pier, under a cork, Catfish everywhere. Every now and then he'll catch a bass on them night callers around those pits. So that's the report I'm getting from them. Slide out, we're gonna go to saltwater, freshwater. They're catching bass, they catch everything in Slide Hill. Chess, he's the master. Dudley Van the Boy. All those captains over there are fishing. All of them fishing out of Island Marina. All of them do it. My best report coming every week is, is, is Mike. Captain Mike, Captain Mike, let me, let me, I, I, don't, I, don't, I gotta read this to you now. Mike Brantley, Fish and Food, he's on, he's on Facebook, he's everywhere. Him and his daddy Larry, they're taking people coming from all over the country. Uh, last week he had all the congressmen with him and judges, and they come with him all the time when they got a free time. Today, he, he bring in celebrity. He got his own over there, people. Renee Norris, that's the wife of the UNO head baseball coach. And by the way, we're going to bring, we're going to make a little, a little deal where we come back, Jason. And I'm going to show you we had the legendary coaches fishing in Cocodry and other way with Coach Cater, Coach Maestri, and Coach Maneri, and you seen them people cutting up. Uh, we can see that that we're gonna run that fast. That's an annual deal, I like to so when baseball season's here. Now, I got a, a report. Renee and then they were fishing, killing the fish. You see the fish where they caught them right there. She was with her son Colton, and uh, and planning trips. They get out of one, they plan another one. Give me some days. Mike still got some days in his daddy, but I, like you said, they're filling up fast right now. 
only thing that get them off the water storms, and uh, but they don't get them off the water long, because they know where to fish. They got a network. Uh, Mike Gallo, another one of those legendary. They always turn them in. You can call them. You can call them Marina, the Island Marina. Uh, you call it all them marinas down there, and and find out if they got bait. A lot of shrimp are still hot as they can be. Same thing in Venice. All the Venice people I'm talking about, guys, you go to Facebook, man, the Carter boys, outstanding trout. I think they ain't caught about four fish over seven pounds. This, this, that's this a good, all right. That's a good fish. Special trout. And then Toledo Bend, you know, you go to Lake Country and look how many over 10 bass are coming from, uh, from them. Somebody talking about post spawn? You know, some of them are still spawning. But my fish from T Toledo Bend is my good friend and correspondent, Dwayne Chapman. He he sent me a turkey. Sent me some turkey pictures. Mike Eccles and his son, Easton, they doubled up in the Soda Parish. And he also sent me, again, been sending every week. He catching those big crops. Now, not a whole lot of numbers, but I'm talking about 18 and 25, whatever the limit. They have some tremendous size. Fishing a road runner, slow rolling. You know what slow rolling? A lot of people do it, spin a bait, and they get back a uh, grass, or you find a lot of grass, and you run jerk baits, you just keep it right over the grass, and then fish come out of the grass and did. I, I'm telling you, that's, that's what I hear. He didn't, get, he didn't get in that much detail, but I'm fished a road runner with my buddy Jody Russo. God rest his soul. And Toledo Bend, he had a road runner. Same thing in, 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 in Pigeon. When he get out in the middle of the canal and exactly move out, he gonna put a road runner on and fish slow. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss nobody. Uh, I see this and Nick, Community Conservation, Pitcher, Dwayne Chapman, I got them to lead them in when they, uh, I can't think of anybody, but Bernard keeps sending me those pitch. He's about ready to go back to Bay Natchez and those areas he fished in Lake Barrett. Lake Barrett is still the best report I got. If no. you had to tell somebody to go on the ball's pass right now and what you hear with your network, where, where would you tell them they ought to go fishing? Oh, the rivers are still high, and but they they pretty soon. Right now, from what I'm hearing, spring. between Lake Darbone, if you like to catch Sagal Lake, Lake Darbone, and Toledo Bend, bass fishing, somewhere is anything uh, Upper Grand River, Jack Miller's Bulltail, a uh, good a good fishing report, you know, come out of that that tournament I, this weekend. I, I'm a, I I haven't getting any reports from right now from the your lakes like Fox River. Only one I'm getting, but Lake St. John, Lake Concordia, Lake Bruin. This time of year, a lot of fish been caught in there. You got those fronts. We used to fish a lot of our tournaments. When I'm talking about tournaments, I'm talking about Baton Rouge Bass Club and all in Basco, LABA. We fished a lot of tournaments in April and them and and there. And and we used to have to watch bad storms, tornadoes. Uh, spent a night in a bomb cellar in Lake Bruin. We got stories on it about them staying in the trailers. I had all my kids and watch everybody. It's dark there, it smelled like Chris, so, but uh, well, I was going to say, say, but when the storm passed over, a lot of fish in those lakes up there, a lot of being caught. The brim run, people ask me about it. Starting to get a few reports, Lake Barrett, brim run. Have you got any report? I'm waiting on Lord to talk because then they get a brim run on too. But the water's up some of those places. Send me a report. Don't don't be selfish. Send me a report. Tell me where you got. It might crowd just it might crowd you a little bit, but uh, you ain't got to give your hot hottest spot going. Just tell me the area. And uh, Jason, in the future we got coming up. I know I told y'all next month I'm gonna try to get Tommy Abbott here. And uh, my voice be getting better, but I'm talking too much right now. I think it's time to go. 
and say to everybody, well, buy, you got them. I don't want to do that. Now, look, you know, you, you're a big fisherman. I'm a big hunter. So we got, I got my oh, weekly oh. turkey report. And yeah, we know. got some other turkey. Well, I'm sorry, Jason. Yeah, so uh, the weekly turkey report. And don't forget, we're going to have that contest. I'm not real sure what we're going to get away, but we're going we're gonna to do something special for someone who sends in some turkey pictures. But I got a couple reports. I got my uh, cousin, Nick Lemoyne. They have a place in Yazoo City, Mississippi. He's killed a couple turkeys this year. Uh, very few killed in the Bulls Parish. Uh, got a couple reports. Two turkeys that I know were killed this weekend. Uh, had some pictures come in from the Soda Parish. Uh, father and son doubled up. We got the pictures uh, sent to us. Other than that, it's been, it's been real slow. Uh, we're gonna be leaving April 25th to go to our uh, turkey hunt trip to Nebraska. Mr. Joey Bruce and I, so I'm just, you know, I don't have any place to go in Louisiana. So uh, we just gonna, I gotta, I gotta get, work till the I gotta 25th get you of April. A good camera. See, you know, when Jason used to go to Missouri, I'd go with him in, in video. <laughs> he said, I'm, We're gonna kill a turkey. I'm gonna let you kill one up here in Missouri. He said, The tallest turkey you ever see, I've hunted all over. He was saying, and uh, it, they just talk big and, uh, and loud. So he had his property. No, we can you know I'm deaf. I couldn't hear him. It right over here. He would say, shh. <laughs> you hear that? Get the camera. Get the camera. Don't move. We were in that tent. We were in that tent. Boy, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Did but you ever you, hear the it's turkey It's a lot of skill. Oh, I've heard them. But that day, St. did St. Francisville, but I had, a hear, I had a hearing aid, a different kind of a game ear. One mm -hmm. time I heard it. I, I used to couldn't hear when I was calling geese, okay? But my buddy gave me some $6,000 hearing aid. He wanted to do it. Background noise bothered me in public, but when I get out, sometimes I got to have it. When I go to church or I go to meeting, they got earphones and they helped me hear. Okay. But right now, I got tinnitus that's ringing and uh, we need to get out of here so Powers can tape his we show. Go. Jason, thank you. I'll see you Won't next time. Won't be long, y'all watch me and Jason. We're going to be together a lot in the next couple of months. You watch the Paradise of Louisiana. God bless Louisiana. Please, storm season, hurricane season's here. Keep in their prayers. Let's pray for everybody on the coast right now with these storms. But them tornadoes, they're doing their job up north too. So, thank you here at Pelican Studios. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Morty. See y'all next week. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.